Let's bring in Fairfax, Virginia parent, Brianna Howard, lifelong Democrat and Virginia voter, Sandra Davis, Virginia business owner, Gabby Renhifo, and Virginia mother of two, Bethany Heim. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Sandra, first question to you. Like I mentioned, you are a lifelong Democrat. You voted for Joe Biden. Why are you making the switch to the Republican in this race? Well, the school closures really highlighted um, things that were going on in our schools besides school closures. We noticed that all of the um, members were very progressive Democrats, and they were working on other things besides opening the schools. And as it went along, they started to try and silence parents by shortening the time we had to be able to talk at the school board meetings and literally actually telling us that their ears were closed to us. Yeah. Brianna, same question to you. Why are you voting Republican in this race? Well, to piggyback off of what Sandra said, I decided I could no longer support a party that didn't prioritize the academic, social, and emotional needs of students. I previously voted for Democrats because I felt that the party um, preaches equality. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, they denied students access to one of the greatest equalizers, which is in-person education. Gabby, you say you vote in part based upon who will do the best for the Hispanic community. Sometimes you say that's the Democrats, but in this instance, you say that is Glenn Youngkin. Why? Because uh, normally, before I ever make any se selection who I'm going to vote for, I would like to meet one-on-one -on -one to uh, the person that is running for governor. Myself, I got the opportunity to meet all the governors. And, and honestly, I did not uh, support Mr. McAuliffe, but after I met Mr. Yankin, I believe that he is going to do a better job of education for our community. Bethany, as a lifelong Democrat yourself, why was your kids' education the issue that led you to defect from the Democrats here in this race and vote for Glenn Youngkin? Well, in the conversations um, that I had with various, with, with my Democrat representatives, I felt really frustrated. Um, I felt as if my voice wasn't being heard and as if I wasn't a true Democrat. Um, it made me feel like maybe, you know, this party, maybe I'm no longer a Democrat. Maybe I need to look elsewhere to have my voice heard. Yeah, let's get into that. Final question to all of you. Bethany, I'll begin with you. Has the Democratic Party left you? Yes, it has. I, I've always thought myself a Democrat, not a moderate Democrat, not a far left, but just a Democrat. And then slowly I, I thought of myself or I saw myself as, well, I guess maybe I'm a moderate Democrat. And now I just don't identify with the Democrat Party at all. And I consider myself an independent. Gabby, same question to you. Is the Democratic Party leaving you? Honestly, a uh, long time ago, I did not fell in love with the Democratic Party because I think that on the education level, our state of Virginia has been going to sleep. What we need is a wake up for education. Mm -hmm. Teachers have priority to our kids, no parents. They, that's why they went to college and they have a certification as a teacher. Brianna, has the Democratic Party left you? Yes, I voted for Biden and 2020, but I can't um, imagine voting for a Democrat in the future, mainly because of education. I think that kids are our future, and the Democrats are not prioritizing the needs of our children. Again, trying to, not trying to get away from this race, but would you vote for Biden again if the election were held this November? I don't think so, okay. to be honest. All right. Um, so I'm not going to ask you who you would vote for, but I'll move on. Sandra, final question to you. Has the Democratic Party, Democratic Party left you? Well, Glenn Youngkin is trying to collaborate with parents and the McAuliffe and his people are trying to criminalize us. And if you look at the ticket, it's extremely diverse. Winsome Sears is a naturalized Jamaican citizen, a Marine. Miaris is a Cuban immigrant. It doesn't get any more democratic than that. Fascinating. Ladies, this was an absolutely eye-opening interview. We appreciate you getting up early with us. I think you, you raised a lot of eyebrows here in the last five minutes. I'm curious to see if the election takes on a different slant because of it. Thank you so much.